welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina. I'm very excited to have you here. Today we're going to be doing my long-awaited bookshelf tour. I'm super excited for this video. I have a ton of books. I'm ready to show you guys. I'm super excited about it. I have four bookcases that I'm going to show you, plus a little stack of books that I call my TBR soon pile. So let's just get right on into it. So here is a quick span of the top of the shelf. It houses all of my series and my husband's series as well. First we have the Crazy Rich Asian series. I can't remember if I've actually read this before, but that's the first thing. Next we have the Darkest Mind. This is actually the box series, so it comes in the super nice just design. Next I have the Children of Bone, the Children of Blood and Bone series. Oh, I just love that series so much. Next I have is Fifty Shades of Grey. I have the first, second, third, plus I have Grey, which is the one that's like, um, narrated by gray okay police car we're trying to film here plus i have this little furry bones that looks like an egyptian we've seen these in frankenmuth and we got super obsessed so these are like our new obsession so super cute next we have the from the last of august and from the case for jamie's little duo hunting prince dracula escaping from houdini and stalking jack the ripper series you have the last magician and the devil's thief Oh, and then of course Thorn and, Thorn and Roses series right there. Next we have the Selection series. I actually am still trying to read this. I got the Selection and Elite done and then Elite just slowed down so much for me. I haven't got to the other three. But then up here I have this super cute little Billy. He is adorable. He has a little milkshake. And then we have the Twilight series that's just a staple in like any booktuber's home I feel like. And then I also have Life and Death as well, which is Twilight Reimagined, where the girl is the vampire and the boy is kind of the human. Another police car? What is happening? And then up here I have a little furry bones that is a vampire. He is super cute. Moving along, I have the Percy Jackson series right here and a little furry bone that is a T-Rex. He has his little toy with him. He is super, super adorable. And then the Divergent series right here. And then over here, we have this little Jojo Siwa books, but those are not actually mine. Those are my nieces for her birthday. I just needed to put them there. And then I have my entire Disney collection. So I have Mirror Mirror Reflection, Part of Your World. So this is love, conceal, don't feel, straight till morning, once upon a dream, a whole new world, and tale as old as time. These are kind of the Disney reimagined collection. So every book is kind of a reimagining of the Disney films. So that's super cool. And then I had just this little Minnie Mouse thing above it. I actually wore that mine and my fiance. It's the first Halloween together, so I keep that. And then I have the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. The really the only reason why I have that series is because my mom was gonna throw it away, but I was like, no. I'll take it. Moving forward, we have, these are my husband's books. These are my fiance's books. Um, they are all the Kingdom Hearts trilogy. And then we just had this little furry bones that is a knight in shining armor that guards all of our princess books. And then we have this cute little sign that says, you are capable of amazing things, which I think is just totally heartwarming. So this is where my books start to go in colored order. So my books start at blue and then they kind of fade out to green and purple, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the first book on my shelf is a Michigan Chillers book. I don't know if this is just like a Michigan people thing or if like everybody knows about these books, but basically they take things that happen in Michigan and turn them into ghost stories. So like we have a lot of shipwrecks in Lake Michigan. So this is a story about Lake Michigan's ghost. So these are super cool. They're like, they're by the same authors as American Chiller, so really it's just like a middle grade scary book story. So I love these, so I do have a couple of these on my shelf. Next we have Things to Do When It's Raining. I actually haven't read this book yet, but it seemed like such a cute little love story. It definitely reminded me of Noah Sparks kind of thing, or the Nicholas Sparks kind of book. So I'm really excited to read this. I actually accidentally ordered two copies, so I will be doing a giveaway as soon as we hit 2,000 here, which is super exciting. We're getting so close, y'all. So this is what I have here. The one thing I love about this book is the frayed edges because I don't see very many books with frayed edges anymore. Next I have The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. I can't say I've ever actually read that one either. Next I have These Broken Stars, which is kind of like a sci-fi space cruise ship fantasy. This was actually super good. I was super obsessed with it. Highly recommend this book to anyone who likes sci-fi. Definitely a fan, y'all. Next I have is the Bromance Book Club. I've really been trying to read more romance novels 
Haley and Booklin actually recommended this and this is why I picked this up so I'm super excited to actually read it. Um, this is just kind of Andy Cohan's book. I'm not going to pull it out. I just kind of have it because we like Andy Cohan in this house. Next I have is the memory book which is basically just a story about a girl who loses her memories and she's trying to get them all back. Next The Remnants of Trust by Elizabeth Bonesteel. This is actually like the third book in a series that I didn't know that was the third book in the series but I grabbed it so... We're gonna have to get the rest of the series. Next I have The City of Ashes. This is the one series that is not on the top of my bookshelf. I only have like three of the books, so I'm just trying to get them all before they go up there. So I do have that one. This is a thrift books order. As you guys know, I'm a thrift books fan, so City of Ashes. Next I have, I have a lot of Christmas books, just like the little like adult novel Christmas books. I just love them so much. I get them at yard sales in Salvation Army for like 15 cents, so I love those. The Woman in the Castle by Jessica Stettop. I have The Beast by J.R. Ward. I just absolutely adore this cover. Like, look at that. That is just like over dramatic, over the top, if I've ever seen it before. Next, we have City of the Lost by Kelly Armstrong. This is kind of a book about... Next, I Know My Name by C.J. Cookie. She basically loses her memories and the only thing she can remember is her name. We have an American Chillers, which I'm sure you guys know what these are. They kind of are said in every state. This one's in Wisconsin about werewolves. So how fun is that? Next I have Revival by Chris Waits. This is actually part of a series that I didn't know was part of a series. Going on anyway. The next one is The Girl Who Drank the Moon. This was such a cute novel. I'm obsessed with it. I will recommend this book to any middle grade reader because it is just so cute. Next we have The Poison Blade. Blade. Wow. The Poison Blade by Kay Elliott. We have Her Crown of Fire. This I was actually highly disappointed in. I think it was rushed, so I was really disappointed. I wish we could have slowed it down a little bit. Next we have Fire and Her A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colehurst. And then finally we have next we have A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. I heard this was super good, so I'm excited to finally get to it. This continues on to my blue books. Um, first we have All the Stars and Teeth. These stickers are just not working for me lately. Um, I heard this was really good. I just haven't got around to reading it yet, but I really want to. Next, I have A Discovery of Witches. Um, I heard there was a show coming out called A Discovery of Witches, and I'm wondering if this is like the basis of it, but I haven't really looked into it. Next, we have Into the Water. I heard this was kind of a suicide glorification book. It makes me kind of nervous to read it, but I really I haven't looked into it anymore. But yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. Next we have Fallen Kingdoms. I actually got this recommendation from Hardback Quarter. I heard this was one of her favorite series, so got that. Next I have Ghost Set of Watchmen by Harper Lee. This is just kind of one of those you need to have on your shelf books. Um, next I have The Life Bloat Click. This book is about a girl who like goes on this yacht party with people who don't like her and expect it to turn out great, so that was annoying. Next we have The Unlikely Years by Carrie Firestone. I actually hated. The Loose Ends List. I actually hated that book. So this is the other book I have by her, The Unlikelies. The thing I actually really like about this book is how beautiful the actual hardcover is. Like look how cute that is. Obsessed. Next we have To All the Boys I Loved Before. I actually have not read or watched the movie but it looked really good so I actually wanted to give it a try. Um, next we have This Is My Daughter. I heard really good things about this book. I got it from thrift books and I was super disappointed with the amount of stickers that was on it. Um, next I have She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. Um, Number of Stars by Lowry and things to do when it's raining like I said I had two copies I'm gonna be doing a giveaway probably. The next I have The Geography of You and Me, The Girl in the Blue Coat. I have The Middle Place. This is like American Revolution book, that's my fiance's. Um, All the Bright Places, The Hating Game, Stonefield, which is kind of like a revolutionary war kind of love story, which just sounded really cool. Um, next we have Dear John, which is kind of one of those classics, and Lies That Chelsea Handler Told Me. I'll probably be unhauling that book because I hated it. Moving on, and just a continuation of the blue book. So I have Joe and Lori, which is a, what is it? It's a retelling. It's a little woman retelling. Um, the Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. Um, this is another one of my husband's books. I have The School of Good and Evil. Um, I actually need to get the other books. This is the sixth book. This is the sixth book. And this just seems like such a good, like, I don't know, Emperor's New Groove book. That's not how I wanted to describe that, but it's okay. Yes. Next, I have one of my favorite books of the year, A Sorcery of Thorns. 
completely obsessed with this book. It was so good. I thought about that book for two weeks after I read it. Oh, it was so good. Next, I have a Christmas book, which is The Christmas Train by David Balacci. I have The Daughter by Jean Schmelt. I'll probably be unhauling this because it was not good. I did not like it at all. I DNF'd it. It was a bad time. After by Anna Todd, which I will always remember this is the Harry Styles love story. Um, the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. This is kind of one of those gay romance books that I will always say, yes, read it. Um, only mostly devastated. Another gay romance, because like you like I told you guys before. For some reason, they give me all of the gay romance recommendations, so that is one of them. It was super good. Next, The Lovely Bones. I feel like The Lovely Bones is just one of those books everybody needs to read in their life. Um, the Time Traveler's Wife, The Worst Best Man, The Upside of Unrequited, We Were Liars. I just actually got done reading We Were Liars. I was not impressed. I, everyone talks about how good it was. I was not impressed. But it did have a good twist at the end. Anyway, it did have a good twist at the end that I was not expecting, but next we have The Con, which is kind of like a sci-fi book. Um, I really just, it's just really cool, like the, especially the front cover, it's just a really cool book. Um, my husband actually got this one that says a playbook for dads. Next we have The Bridge by Doug Marlette, Tweet Cute by Emma Lord, and The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I actually bought this book and a recommendation from Haley in Brooklyn. I heard her talk about it. All right, moving over and down. Okay, I had to turn up the lighting. I don't know what's going on here. So the first book I hear is Stephen King, The Institute. I've actually, wow, well, okay. I've actually never read a Stephen King book. I don't know why. I really want to read a Stephen King book, but I'm a, I'm a scaredy cat, so we'll see if that happens. Next, I have Romeo and Juliet and Jim, which, you know, Americans are always ruining everything, so why don't we ruin that? Next, I have Everybody in the Pool by Beth Listick. This is just kind of a memoir. Where'd you go, Bernadette? I actually haven't read that, and I haven't watched the movie, because I heard it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, so. Next, I have Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva from Jane the Virgin, my favorite show. I actually did not know you could buy this, so, you know, as soon as I seen it on Amazon, I was like, yes, buying that. So, something I really like about this book is, if you've seen the show, she kind of dedicates the book to Raphael and Michael, so she actually does that here to Michael, you live in my heart forever and then she even has in the back um she actually talks about Raphael, so super cool i actually just wanted it for the bookshelf because i just love that show so much everything looks orange can we not be looking orange next i have is beach read um i've actually heard really good things about that book Haley and bookland i think i just seen her rate it on my twitter so i really want to read this i got it in my book of the month um, it's about two authors who fall in love at a beach. So, a book about people who write books. Amazing. Um, next I have is One Summer Day in Rome, because, come on, the city, the city of love, is that what the Rome's called? I don't know, but it's kind of one of those books that I feel like is going to travel us somewhere that we've never been, and I've always wanted to go to Rome, so I'm hoping it does that for me. Next we have The Opposite of Always. I'm really excited to read this book, especially because it is an African-American love story by an African-American author, so I'm really excited for this one. Um, it's about like a girl who falls in love or a guy who falls in love at this party and yeah it's just it's just a fun time and yeah I'm, I'm excited I really don't know how to talk oh. next I have guilt by degrees um, the perfect 10 the second glance by Jodi Picoult um, I have lost and found which is just about dogs the infinite by Nicholas Marnari I butchered that name gone girl the secret garden this is actually the movie edition of secret garden that freaking cover is just so pretty, and then it has pictures of the movie, which I don't really like, but that is just such a cute cover. Couldn't say no. Um, Biscuits and Slashed Browns, Rotten Ruin. I actually DNF'd this book as well. I hated every minute of it. How to Train Your Dragon, because come on, that's like a middle school. Like, you have to read this once in your life. I actually put my name and then I scribbled it out. Uh, we have Fat Girls in Lawn Chairs. We have, turn this, All the Missing Girls. We have Witchy, which is kind of a graphic novel. I just got my Owl Crate. Um, I actually want to read this. Um, I'm trying to get into graphic novels more, so I did buy a few of them. So I'm excited to read that. Next I have Savannah Blues and Alice's Adventures Through Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. 
And then I have this super, super cute little, this dragon furry bone. His name is Scorchy. He has this little marshmallow. He is so cute and he guards my books. So moving over to the rest of the green shelf. So next we have Wonder Valley by Ivy Pochetta. I actually have not read this book. It's just kind of been hanging on my shelf. I have a piece of tape that's just not having a fun time. I have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Um, I've heard this was really good. I actually accidentally ordered a second copy that's supposed to be coming. So if you would like this book, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So please comment down below and tell me if you'd like to win that. Um, Alex Ryder, Never Say Die. I actually forgot Alex Ryder was a series. Like, look at the amount of Alex Ryder books there are. Like, isn't that insane? And then the cover. I actually got this book at the Dollar Tree. So my husband says he really likes Alex Ryder. So I think I'm going to buy the rest of them so I can try them out. Um, I have... Delusion Road by Don Eckner. Um, I did an uh, I did a haul for this one time and I couldn't say this word and everybody was laughing at me and I can't talk on this channel. We all know this. I have Gracie's Secret. <laughs> See, every, as soon as I said I can't talk, Gracie's Secret, um, the bookshop on the corner. I actually got this a recommendation from Darling Desi. I keep ha having to remember to say her name like that because she just changed her name. So this book by her, super cute. I was super excited um, about a little bookshop in fall time. Like, come on. Um, the Simplicity of Cider. This was one of those books I got from Thrift Books that I was super disappointed in, as you can tell with the quality. I'm actually one of those people who really like my books to be super good quality, and this was not. Yeah, and it was disappointing. We have Darkness and Light by John Harvey, The Wise and the Wicked, um, The After Party. I got this at the Dollar Tree too and did not realize it has a split in the spine. Um, I have The Alternate Sign by Anna Quindlen. I actually ordered a large text copy of that, so I'll probably be ordering another one in the normal text. There's The City of Bones, The Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. So this book, I got it at the Dollar Tree, and I was super, super surprised that I found that at the Dollar Tree. So I couldn't say no. I actually just purchased the Diviners, so I just have to get the third book, and I will be able to put it on the top with the rest of my series. Um, Love Warrior, which is just a memoir. The 12 Days of Dash and Lily. I've actually heard really good things about this book, but I'm kind of saving it to my Christmas readathon to read it because... Um, next we have Our Kind of Cruelty, The Last Harvest, Blood for Blood, which I actually found this at the dollar store as well. It is the second book in the Wolf by Wolf series, so that was like super exciting to find. Um, I actually have to buy Wolf by Wolf now because, and read it. Um, Tell Us Something True and The Hate You Give. So this shelf just goes from green to red, and then when we move this way, we are on a red shelf. So the first book I have is Keep Calm by Mike Bender, The Empire of Dreams, um, a, a Christmas book again, um, The Royal We, and then I have this little furry bones. That is a cute little spider. Isn't he cute? Um, I have The Devil's Cut by J.R. Ward, The Tunnel of Bones, which I'm actually currently listening to right now. I actually really love this middle grade series. The third installment is coming out, I want to say next year. Which I'm super excited for. I would probably pre-order because I just love this series. Next we have Fake Plastic Love by Kimberly Tate. The Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Peckin. I actually really love this author duo. I have The Flat Stanley book. Like, do you guys remember these books? Like, it's just one of those books that I just have to have on my shelf for my children. Um, I just have a Super Shred Diet book. I have a couple friends who did the Super Shred Diet and it really worked well for them. So I think it's something that I'm going to need to try in the future. The Lost Summer of Louisa May Alcott. I really love the name Louisa. Um, a middle school showdown book. My little brother was going to get rid of it and I said, no, I'll take it off your hands. Um, the Life of Pi. Um, a Goosebumps book. Do you guys remember when we used to have Goosebumps books? And these were terrifying as children. Do you guys remember that? Because... If you don't, you're missing out. Um, next we have Me Before You, The Boyfriend Project, which is a book of the month pick, um, The Night Circus. I actually ordered this book and I'm super afraid to read it. And that might be funny to some of you, but it's not because I am so afraid to read it and hate it. And everyone's like, how did you hate The Night Circus? Yeah, that's why I have not read it yet. Um, next I have The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. As I said, I love Christina Lauren. I think they are such a good romantic author duo. Um, the Astonishing Color of After, which is kind of a story about mourning, anxiety, like all that stuff. And it is such a good book. I highly recommend it with people 
especially when people who are struggling with those kinds of things. The Crescent City by Sarah J Mass. I have not read this yet. I've heard so much hype about it, which kind of stresses me out because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I hate it? I'm gonna be like part of that little crew that hates this book. And then I have Behind Closed Doors, which I've actually just ordered this. It actually just came in. It's about a perfect marriage and things that go behind closed doors. So I'm actually super excited to read this book. I've heard it was very, very good, very eye-opening, so I'm super excited for that one. All right, moving over and down again. So here we are starting with pink books. So I have the one to watch, which I actually just got with my book of the month pick. Haven't read it yet, but it is a novel about a plus-size girl, which growing up, I never really had a lot of girls that look like me in movies and books and TV. So it's really nice to have a book that has a plus-size woman on the front. Um, next we have Red, White, and Royal Blue. I actually really, really enjoyed this book. A lot of people didn't like it, which was super surprising to me, but I'm kind of a fan of gay romance novels, so that's probably why I liked it. Next I have Girl Serpent Thorn. It is the Fairy Loo edition, so we have these beautiful green straight edges, and then we also have some really pretty artwork in the cover, so pretty pretty. Next we have The Right Swipe. The Lovely War, The Ice Cream Queens of Orchard Street, The Rooftops to Han, The Gravity of Us, which is a book I will 100% recommend to anyone. It is another gay love story because that's all I read apparently. And it's about these two kids who are astronaut kids. They are waiting for their parents to go to Mars and they are falling in love and it's just super cute. Oh, I just loved every minute of it. Another American Chillers about a Missouri madhouse. We are the Wildcats. The List, The Revenge of Magic, Luna, Wolf, Moon, The Boy, The Bird, and The Coffee Maker. This is a middle grade book as well, but it is such a heartwarming little story about an old man who meets this young child that is a coffin maker and kind of their friendship. So it's definitely a super cute middle grade book. Um, next I have two classics, A Child Called It and Holes. I used to be obsessed with Holes as like an eighth grader. Um, I watched that movie and I was like, ooh, Squid, you got me going. Definitely wrote fan fictions about him, y'all. I'm sure y'all did too, don't lie to me. Next I have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which I actually have two copies of this as well. So I have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I have this little wolfy guy who protects my books. He is super cute too. Um, I have Chicken Soup for the Couple Soul. This is just a super cute book about all these love stories, so that's why I have it. The Orphan Train, Most Likely The Babysitter's Coven, and finally Valentine. Moving on to the next shelf. So the next shelf, we are going from purple to brown. I have These Witches Don't Burn, House Rules by Jodi Picoult, which this book is about a boy who has autism and he is like the main suspect of a murder and it is a very, very, very good book. Um, we have In a Heartbeat, The Dead Gentleman, my second <laughs> carry on book because apparently I don't know how to not to double order things. Um, next I have this Midnight Abduction book. I think it's a series, but I'm not 100% sure. Look it in there. Fine, don't get in there. Do what you need to do, sir. Um, while you were gone and while you were here, it is a double book, book one and two. Um, Date with Death. This gives me such Sherlock Holmes, uh, William Shakespeare vibes. So that's why I have that. Um, My Own Private Sky. The Bethrowed by Kiera Cass. I'm actually super, super, super nervous to read this because everybody was like, oh, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. So I'm nervous. I'm nervous, okay? Another book about dogs. Um, the Tales of Beetle and Bard, which is a Harry Potter book. Um, the Forbidden. Um, Rogue. Faking Normal, A Vineyard Christmas. From the Charred Remains. A Forbidden times two because I got this one at the Dollar Tree and then I got this one in my thrifted books monthly so I'll probably be doing a giveaway on that as well. Um, I have The Hobbit, Ugly is by Scott Westerfield. This is one of those books where you read it in middle school and it changed your reading perspective. This was the book that really got me reading. Such a good book, such a good like post-apocalyptic society. I just really like that. Um, my very beat up copy of the Percy Jackson, um, the dog's purpose, and the Madonna of the mountains. This spine is just incredibly beautiful. Moving on to yellow. My, I believe my favorite shelf of my whole bookshelf because my favorite color is yellow. So right here we have The Fate of the Farling, The Revolution of Mar Marina M, The Kiss Quotient, which I really enjoy The Kiss Quotient. If you're not a fan of like super smutty books, I wouldn't recommend it, but it was very smutty. 
Um, the uh, middle, another middle school book, Because of Windex Sea, one of my fiancé's books. Undercover Bromance, which is the second book in the... Oh shoot, what's it called? Uh, Undercover Bromance, it is the second book in the Bromance Book Club. Uh, American Chillers, it is the one for Ohio. The Man Who Shot My Out is Dead. Safe Haven, The Best of Adam Sharp, The Worst Best Thing, which I have a double copy of that and I will be doing a giveaway as well. You Are a Badass, Remnants of Tomorrow, Summer Days and Summer Nights. This is just kind of a collection of love stories. Um, of my second copy of The Best Worst Thing, The One and Only Yvonne, which is definitely like a children's book about a little elephant who is stuck in a shopping mall and yeah it's just real cute picture perfect by jody bacolt another american chiller recreated this is actually the third book or the second book in this series i did not know that when i purchased it so i'm gonna have to get the rest of the series and then we have a chris kohler book about um just like a fairy tale book i think this is um we have the lemon orchard by Luann rice which is um a migrant story i really enjoyed that book i would highly recommend it the Loose Ends List, which I ended up DNFing, Don't Judge Me. And then I have The City Baker's Guide to Country Living by Louise Miller. I actually have not read that book, but I got really good recommendations from it from Darling Desi. She said it was a really good fall read, so I'm excited to read that. Okay, moving on to this little section. We are on the floor now, y'all, so bear with me. So first I had The Fortunate Ones by Elliot. Amnisky. This is about kind of an immigrant story through World War II because of a Nipsey, the Harry Potter, and the Cursed Child. Um, this is my husband's book because he really is into 3D gaming. So, um, Talking As Fast As I Can, which is the Lauren Graham autobiography. I actually did not finish watching Gilmore Girls. I actually got on like halfway through season one and I didn't like it. So someone tell me to finish it because if not I won't. Um, the Bake Shop of Pumpkins and Spice which will be a super 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 cute fall little read. Um, Far From the Tree which is like an adoption foster care story which is something that I want to do in my life so this is definitely a super good eye-opening book. We have the orange copy of Ready Player One which is the original copy book um where the crow dads sing the saturday night ghost club from rockway pumpkin heads which is actually a graphic novel by rainbow rowell and i like i said i've been trying to get into graphic novels lately i don't i don't know what my deal is okay. all the high places by fiona mcfarland the lipstick chronicles angus thongs and full frontal snogging and this book is so beat up it's kind of out of its mind um save me my lisa scotting line i actually ended up dnfing that and i will probably do an unhaul for that because i just was not a fan um this is kind of a supermarket survival guide for people on a diet like me and my husband are so that's why i have that one of us is lying by karen m mcmahon girls poker night by jill davis stranger than fan fiction by chris colfer and this book is actually about a hi hi zelda are you coming to visit this book is about a teenage like celebrity who goes on a road trip with some of his fans which is definitely stranger than fan fiction could you imagine his security guards they're probably like what the heck are you doing um get a life chloe brown if i stay the life-changing magic of not giving a fuck one the one memory of flora banks this is actually a little poetry book and it's gross it's dirty i know but my poems in it and this is from fifth grade so this is almost 15 years old so let me find mine hold on a minute we are on page 56 okay so let's find mine Let's see what it says. Because I don't think I was a very good poetry writer, okay? Oh, this is so me, though. Here's mine right here. I named it Winter. It says Winter, Cold, Windy, Shivering, Snowy, Shoveling, Open Presents on Christmas, December. Oh, that was just so dramatic. But yeah, that is why I have that. It's just kind of one of those keepsakes. I'm a published poetry author, y'all. And then let me this i have hamlet right here i actually had to buy that for a college class so that's why i have that in the quill prints and finally my little free bones that's a little kitty cat all right moving forward we have a visitor hi visitor she's like shut the hell up don't talk to me oh i'm sorry i just hit her with the leg of the tripod okay guys this is gonna be like super awkward but it's fine you're in between my legs right now okay don't mind the back of this it got screwed up and i never felt like fixing it because i am collectively a mess so 
First, we have Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. I really, really enjoyed this book. I thought it was super good. Um, we Love All the Beautiful Girls by Joanne Prolox. Um, Single State of Mind by Andy Darfman. The War Outside by Monica Hesse. I'm super excited to actually read this book. I actually have not got to it quite yet. Um, American Royals by Catherine McGee. I actually have the second book pre-ordered. I'm super excited for it. And Abundance of Catherines, which I actually got halfway through and I ended up DNFing it. John Green is, was not doing it for me in that one. Eat, Pray, Love, The Nyx by Nathan Hill. The City of Ghosts, which I said, this is the first book in the tunnel. This is the first book in the Cassidy Blake series. I actually, ugh, I loved this book. Like, it was so good. Next I have Pax, which is definitely one of those books for your children that you read them at night. So, so I have that. Dividing Even, The Red Queen, The Mysterious Benedict Society, and this book is so beaten up and just old, and I definitely will be getting a new copy because it's just not doing it for me. Three Wishes, um, The Year We Turned 40, A Bridge to Terabithia, Bridget Jones's Baby, Simplicity of Christmas, Love and Gelato, I See London, I See France, Night by Ellie Whistle, The Notebook and the Wildfire by Jew, Drew Barrymore, and then this little furry bones that is a cute little bee. All right, moving on. I'm like stuck at this dry bottom. Sorry. Ugh, you guys know how like chaotic I am. So I'm sorry. Okay, like I said, ignore that. We're not having a fun time with the back of these bookcases, okay? So over there we have Admissions, which is kind of an autobiography about a brain surgeon. The Fall, which is kind of like the Shatter Me series, but not really. Um, One Day in December, which is, you know, we like Christmas books in this house, okay? Right next to that we have a Christmas camp. We like Christmas books. What do you want from me? Blood Rose Rebellion. Um, the first book in the Thirst novels, I actually have not got to this yet. I actually picked it up at Salvation Army. So if you've read that series, let me know how you thought of it in the comments. Next we have Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I heard a lot of people actually hated that book, so I'm afraid to read it. Another Christmas book, um, Stephen King, Dr. Sleep. As I said, I really want to read more Stephen King books, so here we are. Um, the Adventurous Through the Woods. This is kind of a scary graph. Whoa, do you see that? Oh, let's not kill myself enough. This is kind of a scary graphic novel. Um, it definitely has a lot of scary stories in it, and that's why I'm so excited to read that. I'm actually saving this for Halloween because of how creepy crappy it is. So, next we have Dumplin', which I just feel like... <sighs> As I said, growing up, I really didn't have a lot of books with people that looked like me. And Dumplin's one of those books where the girl looks like me. So I really, really, really like having that. Um, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, Wonder, which I got from the thrift books and it didn't come with a dust cover. And I was super, super disappointed. Um, the Silence by Tim Lebanon, which really, really, really just reminds me of The Quiet Place. Um, Cinder, which I really just recently purchased this book. So you can find it. Sassy Child by David Young, The Book Thief, The Cuckoo's Calling, Little Creepy Things, and Serpent and Dove. I wanted the Serpent and Dove special edition from Fairy Lou, but of course, it was sold out by the time I went to it, so I'm really disappointed. Hi, Zelda. Okay, moving on to the black books. All right, please just excuse this angle because this is the only way I can show you. I apologize. So right here, we just have The Glamorous George, which is like a fashion police autobiography. The Conjure Women, Edgeland, which this just looks like a really cool looking book, okay? Um, Unsuccessful Thug, this is where it ends, which I actually just got finished reading this book. It's about a school shooter and it was extremely good. Did not think it was going to be as good as it was, but it was very good. This is actually on my TBR. It is Illusion by Sherilyn Kenyon. It is a book about a demon who does not want to be a demon, so that was really good. Um, Love, Friend Request. Uh, another copy of Twilight. This is the original copy of Twilight that my mom bought me as a sixth grader. So, Go Ask Alice, James Patterson, Murder for Hire, I've Got Your Number, Moon Chosen by PC Cast, <laughs> Hello, um, Fugitives. This is actually one of the series that got me loving books as well, which is a lockdown series. Um, Zelda's just gonna be in our shop, which is fine. She's always, she's always just being nosy. Um, another Stephen King book, which is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Um, we just have like adult, an adult romance book next to that. I ain't gonna talk about that. Um, The Body of Christopher Creed, Artemis Fowl, The Prisoner of Night and Fog. I actually was kind of disappointed in this book. I did not like it as much as I thought I would. Out of Control, The Sky Without Stars, another 
adult romance. Um, the Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. I actually did not like this that book either as much as I thought it was going to and it was super disappointing. Moving on, I'm sorry about this angle. Once again, I will definitely show you the book. So first up is Incinerary? Incinerary. I'm never going to be able to say that right, but this is the Owl Crate edition. Super, super pretty. Um, Access All Areas, Nimona, which is another graphic novel about a sidekick and a villain who is just trying to show people in this government are not fun people. Um, we have the Kingslayer. We have Intro to Group Therapy. Zelda! Come on, man! We have Intro to Group Therapy, which is just a college textbook that I kept. Um, the Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, Pretty Little Liars, Harsh Gods, After the Fire, Defending Jacob, a Tale of Magic, Lisa Jewell, The Family Upstairs. Um, this, dude, if you were not obsessed with Zach Bagans as a teenager, what were you doing with your life? Um, Long Black Veil, and Enchantment of Ravens, which I loved this book. This was such a good book. I loved this. I didn't think I was going to. Uh, Midnight Sun, Another American Chillers, Queens of Fren Burn, um, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, Hush Hush, Where Dreams Descend, and finally, a Sabrina the Teenage Witch graphic novel. This is my favorite show. Y'all know how sad I am. This is the last season. Like, you guys have zero idea how mad I am about it. And then last, but certainly not least, of this bookshelf, we have the Six of Crows, um, 13 Reasons Why. We have the Asylum series, um, the Space Between the Stars, the Operative, the Mister. Um, actually, Sabrina the Teenage Witch also has chapter books, so I actually have those as well. I just have the first season. I actually have to get the next two. Um, Ready Player One, the movie edition, um, a Batman novel, and a Star Wars novel, which the all three of these are my husband's. And then I have a fairy loot box and an owl hit box. I'm waiting to get a fairy loot box that isn't so broken up because that one just is not having a good time. Okay, so that is kind of the gist of my big bookshelf. I do have two bookshelves, three big bookshelves, and then one just standalone. So now I'm going to show you the standalone and kind of my TBR pile I keep next to my reading chair. Do you want to say hi? Because you're being nosy. Hi. Look how cute. She's yelling at me because her sister, the puppy, is outside. She has to be outside. She has to go potty. She's a poopy. Okay, so moving on to the next bookcase. Let's go. Okay, so next we have this bookshelf that's right next to my desk in my office. So the top is my nerd shelf. That's what I like to call it. We have all these baby Groots that I'm completely obsessed with. Let me turn off the lighting so you can see it a little better. We have all these baby Groots. We have um, my little Tsum Tsum Mickey that's filled with little Tsum Tsums. A ton of baby Groots. We have these two soaps. I used to be obsessed with Modern Warfare. Soap was my one true man. So my husband actually got me these little soaps before my birthday. Um, I have Deadpool. I don't know who this is. My husband? It's my husband. Captain America. Elf. Because this is my favorite movie of all time. Um, we have a Baby Yoda and we have a Groot. So that is just kind of my nerd shelf. So just want to show that. Oh, watch out, Dorcas. Moving down on my shelf. So this bookcase is basically my... I don't even know what to call this. This is my... I just bought it and I don't have any room for it at this exact moment. So get some of these recently from a girl. She actually... I actually purchased them from her. Let me turn out this light because that's just too much light. So first we have the Midnight for Charlie Bone books. Um, I think this is book three. Book one and book three. So I got these two from her. I've actually never read that series, but baby, I know you want to. Okay, Dorcas. Here's Dork. Here's Dorcas. You're sitting on my computer where you shouldn't be, so you're going to come visit. So I actually just bought them from her, so I'm super excited for those. I have the girl on the train. We have Beach, Breeze, and Bloodshed. A lot of these are actually dollar store books that I just picked up. I have Swarm, which is book two of the Zeros novels. I have Sanctuary, which is definitely like a sci-fi army kind of book. My husband was actually just getting ready to read it. Next we have Fragments of the Lost by Megan Miranda. I actually found this at the dollar store as well. Um, Not Now, Not Ever by Lily Anderson. The Empire's Ghost, which just seems super cool. So I'm excited to try that out. We have My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. I'm super excited to reread that because I read it as a teenager, but not since. So I'm excited to retry that. We have The Rescue Tales by L.E. Moldesti. 
if you can read that. I'm super excited to read this as well. And then we just have my little coin bank that I got from Owl Cray last month in the All the Worlds of Stage box. So that one. Sorry if you hear Dorcas. She's in heat. She just wants some loving. Next we have the glided gui guided ones. I can't say that word. Um, this just came in my fairy loot this month. So I'm super excited for this book. We have Room. The City of Glass, which is part of the Mortal Instruments. And then Windfall by Jenner, Jennifer E. Smith. So that is shelf number one. Is that good lighting? I just can't tell. All right, moving down. Okay, we're gonna light this up a little bit more. So moving down, we have this super cute little box I got from my fairy Lou. It says, we hunt the flame, the light, and the darkness, the good this world deserves. And I, it's supposed to be a tea box, but I use it for chapstick because <laughs> I don't drink a lot of tea. So that's what that is. So, and then first we have Shadow and Bone by Lee Burdarg. Lee Burdarg. Wow. Okay. Can't say his last name today. But Shadow and Bone. Um, with the Fire on High. See All the Stars. The Confessions of a High School Disaster. Um, and Story Thieves. So if you've never heard of Story Thieves, it's actually a super cool concept for a book. You pick the plot. So, let me show you what I mean. So, as you're reading, it tells you things, right? So you need to turn to this page if you want this to happen. You need to turn to this page if you want this to happen. So it's it's a really cool concept. I think it can be confusing, but I'm, I'm excited to try it. I've never actually read a Story Thieves book, but I think it's going to be a super cool concept. Um, next we have the entire house of night series so this is one of those series that i grew up reading and i just as a girl was selling them a facebook yard sale for 10 bucks for all of these so i picked them up super excited um next we have torment and fallen so i actually bought these from the same girl i've actually never read them so i'm super excited to try those out i know a lot of people absolutely adored them um next we have the Siege of Shadows, which is a second book in the series, but this book looks so good. I think I'm going to pick up the first one probably on thrift books. And next we have The Tarnished City by Vic James. So this will just look like a super good book as well. All right, moving on. So here we have more books that... So I bought these from the same girl. It is Angel and Fang, which are a Max Ride novel. I don't know how these books go or how many books there are, but if anybody knows... Let me know. Um, Escape Room by Marine Stuffles. I actually just purchased this book. It just looked super good. I couldn't say no. Um, my mom actually picked this book for free at a yard sale for me. It is Divergent, but it is the Walmart edition. So we have two Divergent copies now. Um, I actually just picked this book up the other day. It is v Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. This cover was just absolutely beautiful. So it just looked interesting. So got that one. Next I have You Say It First, which is like a stay woke hashtag vote novel. Um, I'm super excited to actually read that. My cat just wants my attention. Hello, baby. Yeah, I love you. Okay. Um, next we have Roar. I actually am excited to read this one. This is actually part of a series. It's the first book about a girl who finds out she has storm powers. And that just sounds super exciting. Okay, I'm turning you guys around. Look at this. Hi, girly. Hi. I know. Okay. Okay, I'll hold you. Mama's got you. All right, so next we have Forest of Souls by Lori M. Lee. This was actually part of my Owl Fairy Loot this month. It is a beautiful book. I'm super excited to actually read that. So, yeah. Next we have Hidden Kingdom. This is the entire series. And I found this at the Dollar Tree. So, I had to pick that up and try it. Dorcas, this is so hard. This is so hard. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. My cat's standing on my shoulder. So, I can't use my other arm. Okay. This one is in Evil Times, the Imperial Saga. So, I don't really know. It doesn't say what book it is, so I'm assuming it's the first one, so exciting for that one. This one is The Empire of Time, Will the Ancient World Destroy the New? So this just looks super good. Oh, Dorcas. Oh, baby, you're gonna fall. Your mommy you made a vet appointment. We just gotta wait for Dr. Sherry to be available, okay? Okay, I love you. So next we have The City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie Anderson. Um, we have The Throne of Glass which I actually heard really good things about. I just not have had a chance to read it yet. The Diviners, Big Little Lies, The Last True Love Story, and Tool of War. Like I said, this this 
bookcase is just kind of a I just bought it have nowhere to put it or I just bought it and just haven't had time to rearrange my bookcase to find a place to put it um Dorcas is on my chair I was gonna sit on my chair but so moving forward okay so the last shelf is <laughs> screwed up hold on so this is my last shelf of my bookcase so we have harry potter these are actually my husband's books all the harry potter novels he's missing one he said we have fantastic beasts the screenplay we actually got this book for free at like one of those applebee's book things i don't know if you guys have those but in front of our applebee's inside the doors for customers there are like free books and you can choose one every time you come so this was there one day so we decided to pick it up um, the Chronicles of Narnia. I think this is the entire series collection. Um, a Star Wars book because he loves Star Wars. And then this is just my textbook for school, which is just a sociology textbook. And then down at the bottom, um, it's just kind of cat toys. And then that's just extra makeup. And those are just kind of stuff for my work, so. And then last, but very certainly not least, in my office, I just had this little pile next to my reading chair of books that I want to read soon. So I'm sure you guys have probably heard me saying I want to read some of these books very soon. So first I have Jackie by James Patterson. This book is just kind of a coming of age book about this girl who's really just trying to navigate her way through middle school, which as you guys know, that's like the hardest time, especially for a girl. So that's what this is about. I'm really, really excited to go start reading this. My husband is super, like, he is super obsessed with comic books. He has a ton of comic books, and these are kind of comic book worthy. Can't tell if my dog's barking or if I'm hearing things. So I'm super excited to try this one out. Next I have sitting here is Ink by Alice Broadway. This book is about a girl who lives in this kind of society that as you do important things in your life, you have a tattoo on your body to remember that time and when you die you get these tattoos as part of a book so she when her father dies she's super excited to get his book but they won't let her have it because of this one specific tattoo so this is just kind of her fight to be able to get her father's book so that's what that is about next i have the sundown motel i just got this book with my book of the month this is kind of like a creepy mystery novel that i'm super excited for i never actually heard of a book like this so i'm very excited to read this one and then i have Faith Takes Flight by Julie Murphy. This is by the same author as Dumplin'. It is a plus size novel about a plus size superhero and I can't say no to a plus size superhero because that is definitely something that I were to struggle with as a teenager is knowing who I am. My size is okay. I don't have to try to be anybody other than myself. So I'm so excited to read this one. I will definitely be keeping this one forever show my children if your body size is not like everybody else's that does not make you that does not make you less than so that is something that I think will get me out of this book so this is in this little pile next to my reading chair I will show you it so really this is all this is it's just this little drawer of like random stuff and then my books and I just have this little um, warmer with like this I don't even know what scent is in it it's like a Christmassy scent in there so that's that so that's actually all the books I have in my office. We're going to go out to the kitchen and I will show you the books that I have on my countertop. They actually have a lot of cookbooks. I'm a cookbook person. We do a lot of cooking on the cookbooks here. So I will show you those. So let's go out there. All right. So now we're in my kitchen. Um, this is actually where my cookbooks live. Okay, cat. I don't know why she thinks she can go on the counter. This is where my cookbook lives in my cookbooks live in my kitchen. Just on this countertop. I have my Pioneer Woman clock, my Pioneer Woman little drawer thing i really don't have much in here like there's some allergy meds in there like some tea yeah just random stuff in there and then i have these really cute little salt and pepper shakers that i actually got from salvation army um they don't really don't have anything in them i just use them for decoration and then i have this super cute one my mom found actually weeks after that is just this cute little flower pot we use um and then i have this cute little tea it's dirty oh my gosh that's embarrassing okay I have this cute little cream dispenser. This is Farm Sweet Farm. And then I just have this cute little pot we don't use for cooking. My husband puts his pop tabs in there. So that. And then I have my Pioneer Woman crock pot that I love to use. I have this little Pioneer Woman thing that I put all of my pink salt in it. Because you buy it in bags. Um, and then I have this little bread holder that I just used to for my things for my garden so um i have some jalapenos in there right now i don't know why i grew so many jalapeno peppers this year and then corn like that's exciting okay moving on to the books um first book i have here is pretty fun by kate hudson 
this cookbook is really just a mixture of um, like decorations and food so I have this one next we have the chubby vegan I actually just picked this up at the Dollar Tree the other day so wow that looks delicious <laughs> but it is just a vegan meal which we've been trying to eat less meat so and everything in here looks so good um next we have martha stewart's pressure cooker um i've actually been trying to use my pressure cooker more i've been really struggling to use it because i don't understand how to use it um next we have the new pioneer woman cookbook um every time she puts one out my husband gets it for me because he knows how much i love her so um, we have It's All Easy by Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, these meals are actually really easy. They look super delicious. Um, the one thing I don't like about this cookbook is a lot of the cookbooks don't have pictures of the recipes. And I like to see what I'm cooking, okay? Um, the other Pioneer Woman cookbook that I have, um, I have Cravings by Chrissy Teigen. I actually got this recommendation from Haley and Brooklyn on one of her vlogs. She said there were some super good recipes in there. So, yum. Um, same one, got half Big Harvest, um, super simple recipes, so, um, that looks delicious. So, yeah, got that one. I have the Negative Calorie Diet. I bought this book thinking there was going to be more healthy recipes in it, but literally, three quarters of the book is just him talking about how to be healthy. So, but yeah, there are some really good recipes in here, like cucumber and almond rice sushi. That just looks delicious, so... Um, I actually just picked this one up for the dollar store as well. This is Brooklyn Rustic um, Simple Food for Sophisticated Palates. So, like, look at that. That looks delicious. Um, I love squash. I'm such a squash person. It's kind of ridiculous. So, yeah. This book I got at the Dollar Tree for $1. This cookbook. I don't know why this thing is so hard to turn right now. What is going on? Sorry. It's usually never this hard to move. I just don't know why I'm struggling. Um, next, we have another Pioneer Woman cookbook. I actually have all her cookbooks she has out. Um, I have fun with food. This is really just like a fun little cookbook. It definitely gives you recipes for all the all the um, events of your life. So there's even one for Star Wars Day. So that is super cool. And then lastly, I have three more Pioneer Woman cookbooks because I have a problem. So those are all my cookbooks. I literally just have them put up here on my shelf really nicely. Um, I really like to have my cookbooks displayed because it's just nice to have them up and displayed because when do you ever have people come over and be like, oh, I like your cookbooks. And you can be like, thanks, I like them too. So yeah, so I'm gonna put these back up. I try to put my hardcover books on the bottom. I really want to get a little sand or something to put underneath them. So if anything kind of drips on them, they won't get ruined. So if anyone has any recommendations on like a little shelf or something to put underneath there, I would love to hear it. Those are my books, those are my cookbooks. So we are ending this video in my kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my bookshelf tour plus my cookbook tour because yeah, I'm in 1950s housewife at heart. If I could stay at home and just cook and read and clean, I, yeah. But I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up and comment down below and kind of tell me what you thought about my bookcases. If you collect cookbooks as well, what's your favorite cookbook? Tell me something fun in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.